where we're concerned with safety, safety, safety of handling. And having given it that safety of handling, of course, then it was others like uh, John Cooper who thought, well, we can make this thing twitch about and be, be a wonderful little sports car. We did specifically design the car for the fuel shortage at the time, because if you remember, uh, there were a lot of imports coming into the country of small uh, bubble type cars, and they were catching on rather rapidly, and um, this made management here um, a little um, active uh, in, in, in this field. Now, come along, we've got to design a car, you see. It must be very small and very um, economical to run, but it must have four seats. Remarkably, Isigoni sketched out the shape of the Mini himself. Refusing to involve committees or the usual stylists, he transformed the traditional three-box layout into a two-box shape, with wheels pushed to the four corners. The three-box configuration um, has very little aesthetic appeal because we get a, a thing that looks somewhat like this. Now, you must admit that that looks somewhat grotesque. So, in getting elegance back into the design, this part has to be extended over the, the back wheel. Well, he was a lovely artist. I mean, his art was, you know, he... When you saw his drawings, when you were talking about something, he'd draw it the way he was thinking, you know, as if not just a beautiful drawing, but the way he was thinking about the design of the thing he was drawing, you know what I mean? He'd clear the tablecloth and draw all over the tablecloth and then said, put that on the bill when we go. Take the tablecloth back to the drawing, Jack Daniels' experimental department, put it on the drawing board and said, look, draw this, do that and do that. Daniels and Isigonis became a celebrated double act. Isigonis sketching and conceiving ideas, Daniels transforming them into technical drawings and working prototypes. It started off with the space limit of the inside, and then the question is to see how you could tack on all the, the mechanical gubbins, if we call it that, in a space which... Designed the, the flanges of the floor the wrong way around, instead of that way, that way. And um, it took us uh, ages. We took over to the Italian Grand Prix, and uh, when I arrived there, Lam Prady was, was there, and he said, what have you got there, John? I said, well, it's the latest Austin 7, but you haven't seen it, you know, it's... He said, can I have a go in it? So he had a go in it. And uh, he um, drove around the inner roads of Monza with it and came back. And he said to me, John, he said, that is the future motor car. And, that, and then when you think about it, that was the first east-west engine front-wheel drive car with all independent suspension, four-seater cheap family car that handled like a sports car. And, I mean, Lamprady was one of the greatest engineers. He'd been chief engineer of Ferrari, and now he was chief engineer of Fiat. So I, I thought, this man knows what he's talking about. Isigonis claimed to have designed the Mini for the district nurse, but there was a suspicion that he secretly yearned for a sports car with the racing qualities of his lightweight special. When, when the car was designed and in production, I never gave this one single thought. Uh, we were preoccupied in the design in getting good road holding and stability for safety reasons and to give the driver more pleasure but it has never occurred to me that this thing would turn out to be such a fantastic rally car for instance and um, there i'm indebted very much to my old friend john cooper who came along to see me one day and he said but this little family car that you've designed is fantastic and i said to john but why is it fantastic but he said have you taken it around a racing circuit i said no what should i have done and that's how it started